number of multiples of a given number in an arithmetic progression. Now, uh, it might just be that, you know, you are asked to find out, you're given any two numbers, so let's say x and y, okay? And there may be a host of number lying between these two. And you're asked, can you find out the multiple of any given number, okay, which lie between these two numbers? Now, if you notice, let's say, for example, we take x, okay? Now, the multiple of x are going to be what? 2x, 3x, 4x, 5x, and so on. If you notice, this kind of forms an arithmetic progression. Every series of multiple of a given number forms an arithmetic progression, right? So in this case also, what is going to happen is, you need to find out what is the first term which is going to lie between these two numbers, okay? And what is the last term which is going to lie between these two numbers? If you can find out these two things, then finding out the number of terms is not difficult. Let's see how. How many multiples of 5 lie between 12 and 272? So if you talk about 5, we know that the multiples of 5 could be either ending with 5 or they could be ending with 0. So when you talk about 12 and 272, the first number which appears after 12, which has 5 in the end, is 15. Right? And then what is the next multiple you are going to have? You will have 20, 25 and so on. But I don't want to project it up to this number. I need to find out which is the number which is closest to 272, which is also divisible by 5. So like I said, a number which is multiplied by 5 has either 5 or 0 at the end. So the number which is going to be here is going to be 270, which is closest to this, okay? Because any multiple of 5 after 270 will be 275, which is not falling between these two given numbers. Now if you notice, what has happened here is, we have got an arithmetic progression, okay, starting with 15, ending with 270, and what do we need to find out? We need to find out how many multiples are there. So effectively, we need to find out the count, how many terms are there in this AP. And how do you find out how many terms are there in an AP? By simply finding out which is the term, okay, what is the number of this term, 270. So the nth term of an AP is given by A plus N minus 1 into D. What is the nth term here? 270 because that is the last term that we have. Is equal to A. What is the value of A? 15 plus N minus 1D. N is what we need to find out. And D is what? The difference. Difference can be found out between 20 minus 15 which is 5. Right? So simply solving this you will get... 270, take 15 to the other side, minus 15 is equal to 5n minus 5. If I just take this 5 also to the other side, I get plus 5 over here, right? So you get 260 or n is equal to 260 divided by 5, which is 52. So there are 52 multiples of 5 which lie between 12 and 272. So the trick was simple. Find out between these two numbers which is the first multiple of 5 and which is the last multiple of 5. Once you have this, this typically forms an arithmetic progression. You need to find out how many terms are there, which effectively is as good as saying what is the number of the last term. We just equate this value over here and get the answer.